Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we bring you the latest updates on the India's defense sector from new aerospace partnership to significant budget allocations, advanced fighter jets and successful space tests. We have got it all covered, so let's begin. The Indian government will collaborate with the private sector to develop small modular reactors allocating 1 trillion rupees for research and development to increase nuclear power share in India's energy mix. External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar extended greetings to Egypt on its National Day, highlighting the deep strategy partnership between India and Egypt. Goa Shipyard Limited successfully launched INS Triput, the first indigenously constructed P1135.6 frigate in a significant milestone for India's defense sector. The launch, attended by notable dignitaries, marks a major step towards achieving Atmanibhar Bharat in defense production. Slovakia celebrated the arrival of the first two of 14 new F-16 jets from the US, enhancing its defense capabilities among regional tensions and replacing outdated Soviet-era aircraft. India's defense export reached a record of $2.5 billion in financial year 2023-2024, marking a 34 increase over the past decade, driven by private sector contributions and policy reforms. Philippine and Chinese officials have agreed on measures to prevent confrontations at the disputed Second Thomas Shoal in the South China Sea, aiming to reduce tensions following recent clashes. Starting with the first news, Tata Advanced System Limited and Airbus Helicopters have signed a contract to establish the H-125 final assembly line in India. This marks the first instance of the private sector setting up a helicopter assembly facility in the country. The final assembly line will produce Airbus best-selling H-125 helicopter for India and neighboring countries. The contract was signed at the Farnport International Air Show in 2024, with deliveries expected to commence in 2026. This collaboration aligns with the Make in India initiative and addresses India's growing helicopter market potential. Moving on to the next news, the Ministry of Defence has been allocated a record of 6.22 lakh crore rupees in the Union budget for the financial year 2024-2025. This is the highest allocation among all ministries with a significant increase of 18.43% over the previous fiscal year. The budget aims to promote self-reliance in defense technology and manufacturing while equipped the armed forces with modern weapons and platforms. Notably, Rs 1.72 lakh crore has been allocated for capital expenditure with a substantial portion earmarked for procurement through domestic industries. Next, we have news about India's advanced medium combat aircraft which will be powered by custom-designed 110 kN thrust class engines. These engines are being developed by the Gas Turbine Research Establishment under DRDO, tailored to meet India's unique operational environment requirements. The Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft MK-1 variant will initially use the General Electric 414 engine, while the more advanced MK-2 variant will feature the custom-designed 110 kN engine. The AMCA program represents a significant stride in India's indigenous defense capabilities, aiming to develop a fifth-generation fighter with advanced stealth features and super cruise capabilities. In our next update, India has finalized plans to upgrade its Sukhoi 30 MKI fighter jets. The Ministry of Defense has prepared a draft note for approval by the Prime Minister-led Cabinet Committee on Security. The comprehensive upgrade for 84 Sukhoi jets is estimated to cost around 63,000 crores. The upgraded Super Sukhoi will feature man unmanned teaming capability and advancing indigenous technologies, enhancing their mission's effectiveness. The Indian Air Force aims to keep these upgraded jets in service until 2055. Lastly, the Indian Space Research Organization has successfully conducted the second experimental flight of its air-breathing propulsion technology. The propulsion system was tested on RH-560 sounding rocket launched from Satish Dhawan Space Center, Shri Harikota. This flight test is crucial for the next phase of development of air-breathing propulsion systems, RH-560. The heaviest sounding rocket is in ISRO's family serves as a cost-effective flying test bed for advanced technologies. That's all for today's updates. These advancements highlight India's growing capabilities and commitment to self-reliance in defense technology. So stay tuned for more updates and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for the latest news in the defense sector. Thanks for watching. Jai Hind.